Well, hey there, fabulous authors. Today, I want to take a look at your author page over on Amazon's Author Central. Now, this is a page that I do not see very many authors taking advantage of. There is so much that we could be doing with this page, and most authors are not, either because they don't know it exists or they don't know how to take advantage of it and really harness its potential. So let's jump in and take a look. Now, once you jump on Amazon's Author Central, you're going to click over to your author page and you're going to see this dashboard. It gives us a little heads up that content is going to appear on your page after a short delay, so it has to process. So if you don't see it immediately, that's okay. Give it a little bit of time. Amazon works fairly quickly, so you should be pretty good. And we're going to jump down to our biography. Now, this is the one area that authors do pay attention to, and you should put your biography right in here. It should be short and sweet, to the point, and emphasize why you are valuable to people. Because honestly, no one cares about your kitty, no one cares about your Starbucks latte. They want to know what you can do for them. So what value do you bring to them as an author? Make this about them, not about you. And yes, you are talking about you, but you need to do it in a way that makes you really valuable and engaging to your fans and potential new fans. Once you've got your biography in there, we're going to go down and take a look at some of these other really cool areas. The first one is going to be your blog. So as an author, you should definitely have a blog. This is a great way to communicate with your fans, and it's better than social media in that people cannot take it away from you. Because one day Twitter might go away, and Instagram might glitch, and the Facebook algorithm might get mad at you, and maybe someone's going to report your page, and you will be taken off a social media platform even though you did nothing wrong. But your blog will be yours forever and ever, and remain a database for what you are doing with your fans. So once you've got your blog, you're just going to type in your blog's name slash feed and it will start to appear on your Amazon page. So every time you post something new, within 24 hours, it's going to show up on your author page on Amazon. Now we're going to take a look at that in a minute, but first let's go through the rest of this. Now events are really cool. You can add an event that you are doing but the catch is that it has to be a physical event. It cannot be an online event. So unfortunately, at this point in time, we are not able to do our Facebook parties or our live broadcast launch parties or any of the different online events that we are doing as authors. So if you have a book signing or if you are doing some kind of book convention, you can put in a description, you can put in the venue, and this is the main part here. The venue is what really holds us back. And you can say what book it's related to, which is really awesome. It gives you the date, it gives you the start time, and you can create an event that people will be notified about. We then have your author page URL here. So this is something you can give out to people if you need it. And then we go down to photos and video. And people are not taking advantage of this. They might put one photo or two photos, but I don't think I've ever seen a page with videos or at least none that I can remember. It obviously wasn't very memorable if it was. You can have up to eight photos and up to eight videos. And I highly recommend that you take advantage of this, but not only take advantage of it, but actually make sure that you are maintaining it. So some of these videos, they're starting to get a little bit old. They're currently relevant because the first book in both of my series are out, and these have to do with those first books. But once I start putting out more series, I'm going to start swapping some of these videos out and as you can see, I've got a little blend of things. So I've got me talking about my book. I've got a reading from a book. I have information about one of my characters. So it's almost like a book trailer, but it's not quite a book trailer. But it could potentially be a book trailer. I've got more readings from my books. I've got fan question and answers. I've got information about the release of one of my books. I've got a video from an Instagram live broadcast and a Facebook live broadcast that I did. In fact, I think this one is a book unboxing. So I've got an awful lot on there to show my range of how I am engaging with my fans and how people can reach me. So I've got professional looking things. I've got live broadcast things. I've got things specifically about the books, like trailers and character introductions. I've got question and answers so that my fans know they can reach out to me and ask me things so that I can have a conversation with them. And then I can click manage and I can drag and drop and rearrange my order for my videos to whatever's going to be most beneficial to me. You can also drag down to delete and then you can save or cancel. Photos the same way, you can have up to eight photos, and I do recommend that you have your professional author bio photo 
which does not necessarily need to be taken by a professional, although I highly recommend it. As a professional photographer, I promise you, you will get more bang for your buck if you are using a professional, but you want to make sure that you are getting a good headshot of yourself. If you need tips and tricks on that, I actually have some tutorials over on readingtransforms.com and resources.readingtransforms.com to teach you how to take better photos without using professional equipment or without hiring a pro, so make sure you check that out. And then I recommend you have pictures of you with your book, pictures of you at book signings, pictures of you doing bookish things, pictures that relate to your book. So this is actually one of the characters in my book and the book there, and you can see it's pretty cool. And I've arranged that in a way that makes the most sense. So my bio photo is going to be first, then I go into different events and different bookish things. As always, you can drag and drop and then you can change those up. So as you are growing in your author brand, as you are doing new things, as you are adding events to your lineup, I want you to be changing out these photos because if they're always the same, people are not gonna take the time to look if they've already seen them once. But if something new catches their eye, you better believe they're gonna take the time to not only check out that photo, but check out the rest of the photos and then check out the rest of your profile. So I do recommend updating this every two to three months. Make sure you are checking in and you keep this relevant to your fans because your current fans are going to be following your Amazon page. They wanna know when you have new books out and potential new fans are also going to be monitoring your page because they wanna see who you are as an author, how involved you are, if you are going to be someone that will interact with them on social media, they want to know what you're doing because if you just kind of live behind a screen and you don't really talk to people and you're not interacting with them, what's the point in following you or trying to be friends with you or trying to support you? Because if you're not out there marketing your books, if you're not out there interacting with your fans and supporting them, then why on earth are new people going to be supporting you? So take the time, make the effort, get out there on social media and interact with your fans and then get it on your Author Central page here on Amazon's Author Central forum. Real quick, let's take a look at my page and just see how this looks. So here we go, we've got my bio photo, we've got my books, we've got author updates. So here we have my videos, we've got my blog posts right here and people can scroll through and see what's going on. We've got more photos. So anytime you put something up, it shows up here in a specific timeline. We've got videos, and more blog posts, and all sorts of really important things that people are going to be able to interact with. They can then scroll down and see, oh, who else they bought. There's a little information about whether or not you are an author, so if somebody's an author checking you out, they can get their own page, and then it goes down to your different books. Pretty awesome, right? So that is how your author central page looks and then people can go ahead and follow you. And it's as simple as taking a few minutes to fill out a biography, attach your blog, add some events if you have in-person events coming up, adding some photos, and adding your videos. And doesn't that look so much nicer than if it had just been my bio photo and a couple of books and then nothing? When it comes down to being nothing on the page, it makes you seem very commercial and very sales pitchy. So if you send people to your Amazon page and there's no way for them to see that you are an involved person and that you actually do things, it is going to be far more hard for them to relate to you and to actually take part in what you are doing within your author platform. So as you can see, I am super active. I posted something an hour ago. I posted something two hours ago. I posted something two days ago. They can see that I am active and participating and that is going to make all the difference. There's a lot for them to look at and it really, really does matter. Now, if you have questions about your Author Central page, go ahead and hit me up. I am happy to help you out with your bio, with getting your blog ready. I am happy to help you pick photos and videos to put out on your Author Central page that will make a difference in how people see you through Amazon's lens. And as always, if you have questions about social media marketing strategy, hit me up in those comments. Anything about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope, YouTube, your blog, your newsletter, your website, I am here to help you. I do this professionally, I do this for a living, and I want to give you these amazing resources to really build Build up your brand. So hit me up with your questions and then come back and check out my free resources, my tutorials, my articles, my on-demand mini training, my free masterclass webinars, our live broadcasts, and the amazing projects that we're working on here at Reading Transforms. 
You can find me at readingtransforms.com and you can hit me up at Reading Transforms on social media because I want to hear from you. And if you have not joined community.readingtransforms.com yet, come join me. It's a closed Facebook group where I am teaching on the social media algorithms, how to beat them, how to avoid them, how to make sure your content is not being bogged down. We talk about marketing your author brand and really branding what you are doing within your author brand. And even more than that, we talk about engaging, empowering, and equipping your fans to get out there and market better for you without ever seeming like a sales pitch commercial. It's an awesome group of super supportive authors, and I would love to have you join us. Community.writingtransforms.com. I'm Kame Robinson, social media marketing strategist here at Reading Transforms and over at Kame Robinson Photography, and I will see you in the next video. Stay inspired.